Hello, it's me, Mr. Mustafa. Welcome to my geography class. Today, we are going to see the global pressure belts. That is, what is global pressure belt, where they are situated, and what are the factors that contribute for the formation of global pressure belt, and how do they shift with the apparent movement of the sun. So, we know that atmospheric pressure is not the same everywhere. It varies from place to place. But studies have revealed that uh, same atmospheric pressure is experienced between certain latitude. Based on this, the Earth's surface is divided into a number of pressure belts. They are called global pressure belts. You see the illustration. Look at the figure where seven global pressure belts are illustrated with their names and respective latitudes. Why global pressure belts? There are two reasons. One is you know the Earth's uh, rotation. That is what a dynamic force factor. The other one is you know the thermal variation. What are the factors that contribute to the formation of global pressure belt? They are the first one is thermal factor. That means variation in the amount of solar energy received on Earth's surface. Second one is dynamic force factor. That is the rotation of the Earth. Earth rotates on its axis. That is the reason. So there are seven global pressure belts. Which are they? Where they are located? You see. There are seven global pressure belts. They are the first one equatorial low pressure belt which is situated between 5 degree north and 5 degree south that is on the either side of the equator. And second and third one subtropical high pressure belts which are situated around 30 degree in the northern hemisphere and 30 degree in the southern hemisphere. And uh, fourth and fifth one, subpolar low pressure belts, which are situated around 60 degree north and 60 degree south. And uh, sixth and seventh, polar high pressure belt, which are situated around 90 degree, that is north pole and south pole. Now it is understood that there are seven global pressure belts. Now let us see which are those seven pressure belts and where they are situated. We can see one by one. Equatorial low pressure belt which is situated between 5 degree north and 5 degree south. So this is the zone of equatorial low pressure belt which is situated between 5 degree north and uh, 5 degrees south latitudes. So this is the zone where vertical rays of sun is received throughout the year. And as a result we know that maximum solar radiation is received uh, this area throughout the year. So the temperature is very high throughout the year. And as a result the air is heated. When that air is heated, we know that uh, its density goes down, it expands and it uh, raises up. So the major type of air movements in this region is vertical ascending. More air is heated and ascending, vertical uprise. So this region is a low pressure region, so it is called uh, equatorial because it is on either side of the equator equatorial low pressure low because more air is water going from this region equatorial low pressure belt it is what equatorial low pressure belt as the air raises up on a massive scale in this region it is a low pressure region and here the winds are very feeble, very weak. So this region is also called a doldrum. It is called a doldrum. What is the meaning of the word doldrum? The zone with no wind. That meaning no wind region. And this doldrum 
where there is in fact no wind because wind is the horizontal movement of the air. So this region was a nightmare for whom the mariners in the ancient time when they navigated with their sail ship. So it was a nightmare for the mariners in the ancient period, ancient time. Subtropical high pressure belt which is situated around 30 degree north and south. Now let us see subtropical high pressure belt. Here it is, both of the hemisphere. So a pressure belt which is situated around 30 degree north and 30 degree south in both of the hemisphere is called a subtropical high pressure belt. Subtropical, subtropical high pressure belt. Subtropical high pressure belt. What is the reason for the formation of this pressure belt? The main reason is dynamic force fact. That meaning Earth's rotation. We know that here from the equator more and more air heated rises up. When the air is going up, you know that it began to cool. When it is cooling down, its density increases. Then it cannot go further high. Then it moves sideways. It happens here moves sideways, moves sideways and that cold air after cooling down it moves sideways and subsides here that means it descends at 30 degree latitudes in both of the hemisphere owing to its weight and we know that also the result of what earth's rotation earth's rotation causes that air to turn or bend and it subsides at 30 degree latitude in north and south as more and more air is uh, what coming down and uh, accumulated here, piled up here, that this region happened to be a high pressure belt. And that high pressure belt is called a subtropical, subtropical, subtropical high pressure, subtropical high pressure belt, subtropical high pressure belt. So this latitude, I mean what uh, 30 degree north and 30 degree south or this uh, subtropical high pressure belt is also called horse latitude. Why they are called horse latitude? There are a few stories but uh, we don't have enough time to share those stories. You explore the internet and find out the stories of horse latitude. Subpolar low pressure belt which is situated around 60 degree north and south. So let us see subpolar low pressure belt. Here it is. Subpolar low pressure belt. Subpolar low pressure belt. And which is situated around 60 degree north and 60 degree south in both the hemisphere. Why they are low pressure belt? We know that this pressure belt is very close to the pole. As it is very close to the pole, air is colder. And we know that cold air is dense. So it exerts more pressure. But here it is low pressure. What is the reason? The reason is Earth's rotation doesn't allow the air to settle here. That meaning Earth's rotation throw the air from this region. Air is thrown away from this region. So more air is like this, you know, air is what throwing away. Air is thrown away from this region due to Earth's rotation. So this region happened to be a low pressure region so it is called what a subpolar because it is very near to the pole subpolar low pressure because what air is thrown away and a subpolar low pressure belt in both the hemisphere. Polar high pressure belt which is situated around 90 degree north and south poles. So next one is polar high pressure belt which are situated at 90 degree north and south that is here here 90 degree north northern pole around that northern pole a pressure belt is there which is 
polar high pressure belt likewise in the south polar high pressure belt a pressure belt which is situated around 90 degree north pole and south pole why high pressure the reason is the amount of solar radiation received in the north pole and south pole very less and as a result of that low solar energy this region experiences severe cold throughout the year as severe cold throughout the year the air is chilled and there is chilled cold air exerts more pressure so high pressure is experienced steady high pressure prevailing over north pole and south pole so they are high pressure belt polar high pressure belt so we can conclude these are the global pressure belt there are seven global pressure belt one is this one is what a polar high pressure belt then subpolar low pressure belts subtropical high pressure belt equatorial low pressure belt you can see you know that pressure belts are seen alternatively there is you know that high pressure low pressure high pressure low pressure high pressure low pressure high pressure it goes like this high low high low high low high so this is the original position of a global pressure belts do you think that they are intact that means no change no movement no they move how so they move in accordance with the apparent movement of the sun in what a direction all pressure belts will shift move towards north with the northward progression of the sun that meaning northward migration of the sun all pressure belts shift from the original position to the southward with the southward progression of the sun that meaning when sun is marching from north to south all pressure belt will shift towards the south this is the movement of pressure belt or shifting of pressure belt with the apparent movement of the sun